Hi guys, welcome back. This is Fred from AF Math and Engineering. And uh, in our last video, we solved this torque diagram right here. And we solved it using equilibrium equations, so we solved it the long way. Now, you know, in these kind of problems and in this section, this is, uh, this is a section that's kind of the basis of the entire course, your Strengths and Materials 2 course. And, and nothing is going to substitute for a lot of practice. I, I suggest doing a lot of different problems in your book. However, there are easier ways to do the problems, especially during exam time, and I'm going to show you one of them now. So, let's begin. Uh, as I said before in the last video, we solved this using equilibrium equations, but we don't need to solve it that way. We don't need to write out five equations. We can just look at it, assign the sign convention that we used in the previous question, uh, the previous time we solved it, and we can just draw the tor torque diagram directly. Okay? So, let's begin. So, as you remember before, in the last uh, question, we assumed a positive direction of this way, okay? So in the last question, it was this way. And now that we're dealing with the external torques, okay, the, the previous time we solved it, we were dealing with the internal torques. Now that we're looking at the external torques, we're going to assume that the positive direction is the opposite way, okay? And assuming that, that's just kind of a general rule, we can just draw the torque diagram directly, okay? So let's begin. Once I start solving it, it should be simple. So let's label our torque diagram as positive and negative, okay? And we'll label our axis here, okay? And let's begin. So we have a positive 10 kip feet torque at point A, okay? Positive 10 kip feet. So we're just going to draw that there, okay? And that's going to be 10. Now, at B, we have 15 kip feet, also positive, same direction, right? Clockwise. So, in the previous equilibrium uh, method of solving, we simply took the numbers that we solved for the torques and we put them in the diagram. With this shortcut method, we're not going to do that, okay? We're going to add 15 to 10, okay? And we're going to get 25, and that is going to be what we put on the torque diagram, and that's going to res represent the internal resisting torque. Same thing, we're going to move to C. Now we notice that C is in the negative direction, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to subtract 30 from 25, okay? That's going to be our next torque, easy. Okay, we have 5. Moving on to D, same direction as 30, negative direction. So it's negative 15, minus 5, minus 15, 20. Okay. And finally, let's label our points now. Okay. Finally, we have, we're at 20, we go to E, there's a positive 20 kip feet uh, torque here. Goes right back to zero, okay? And that's also one thing that you can use to check whether or not your question is correct. If the torque diagram goes back to zero or not. It always has to go back to zero, there's no exceptions. If it's not going back to zero, you made a mistake somewhere. So it's a neat, nice, easy way to double check your answer. Thanks for watching, guys. 